Do you believe in a God? I believe in God. I pray to God. Silence. Do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. There is a lot of people that have their own personal opinions. But me, personally, I believe that there is a God. This video was really, really interesting because it shows that everyone have their own personal opinions. The title of this video says, Watch what happens when they mention God on live TV. Let's find out. Real footage. But this is the tampered footage. The issue with sin. It, 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 it makes us, our sin that's in us makes us do those things. And the only, the only salvation for this sin is the gospel. The only way to really cure that was on the inside is understanding that Jesus Christ died for our sins. And so the, to me, on a micro level, it's understanding. It. Yep. And just like that, we lost him. I know. I Dang, that is crazy. I didn't know CNN controls the masses like that. I didn't know they could just temporarily do this. You know what I'm talking about? And she is playing along like there's a technical difficulty. That is crazy. Masters champion, Bubba Watson. Um, and in second, I gotta thank uh, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> this day means so much more than, than putting on this green jacket. In many ways, Wow. All right, so a uh, technical glitch there from Augusta National, but we will bring you much more of uh, Bubba Watson, obviously. They are trying to stop you from hearing this message. Our young people today do not have the same access to this message as the young people 50 years ago. And say what you like about Donald Trump, but none of you can deny this simple fact that today we live in a world of fake news. And in a moment's time, I will prove it to you by showing you the shocking thing that NASA has been doing to its employees. But first, what is our message? Well, if no one's too embarrassed, let me share with you a story. Jessica's mom had ugly hands. Everyone used to laugh at Jessica's mom. They used to say, oh, her hands are all scarred, they're all disgusting, they're all red, they're all patchy. And Jessica herself was rather scared of her mum's hands. At times, she wouldn't even want to hold her own mother's hand. And at other times, the boys and girls at school, they used to laugh at Jessica. In fact, one day it was so bad that Jessica just spent the whole evening crying her eyes out in bed, saying, I hate mummy. I hate mummy because she has ugly hands. So her father went into the room and said, Jessica, do you know why your mum's hands look the way they do? When you were but a little baby, there was a fire in our house and the staircase was on on fire and you were up in the very top bedroom but your mother was on the ground floor so do you know what your mum did she grabbed a blanket she wrapped it around her waist and then she climbed up to the top of the metal gutter pipe that led up to the bedroom every time she put her hand on that hot gutter pipe it burned but she got you she saved you and she brought you to safety in the garden when it was all over the fireman looked at mum's hands and saw they were a mess. You couldn't even recognise that they were hands. They were so blotchy. They were so red. That's why your mum has ugly hands. And in that moment, Jessica ran out of her bed and she ran into her mother's bedroom and she started kissing her mum's hands and saying, Mum, you have the most beautiful hands in the world. And our message is exactly the same. To the people of the world, they look at Jesus Christ's pierced hands. That was a wonderful message to be honest. Wow. Almost made me share share it sad tale. I almost couldn't hold it back. But wow. And they see them as ugly, but to those who know the truth, we think they are the most beautiful hands in the world. Those hands were pierced, they had nails through them. For all the times that your hands have hurt people, have done
done cruel, nasty things. He also had his feet pierced. His feet had nails driven through them. For all the times that your feet have walked to places you know you should not be, but you stayed there, even though your conscience was telling you to get out. And Jesus Christ, he had his brow pierced. He wore a crown of thorns. For all the times that your mind has thought evil things, your mind has thought rude things, shameful things, there the Son of God, the Lord Jesus Christ, suffered on that cross to rescue us because just like that little baby up in that top bedroom you and I are helpless we will die in our sins and we need saving we need rescuing and that's what Jesus did on the cross I love you Jesus but our message doesn't end there yes after Jesus died he was buried after he suffered on the cross the substitute for our sin there he was he stood there in our place where we should have stood paying the debt that we could never pay enduring the wrath of God after all of that when he was put in that tomb they put a huge big stone in front of it a stone that would take many many men to push away and then on the third day what happened that tombstone was rolled away and no one could find the body why because Jesus had risen from the grave. And there he stood in front of 500 witnesses, proving to people that he really could back up what he said previously. What did he say previously? I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. And there Christ stood, resurrected, beating the grave, and now offers a hope to anyone who'll come. I'll give you eternal life. I'll conquer your grave if you'll put your trust in me. As a wise man once said, anything is possible. Happy Sunday, everyone. But this is a wonderful Sunday message for those of you that may not go to church. You can listen to this. This is really awesome. The message in this is amazing. That's our message, and it's the best message in the world. I am confident that some of you will be surprised at how NASA is trying to stop the name of Jesus from going out. Are you serious? But first, I need to ask you this question. Are you ashamed of this message? Paul, the Apostle Paul, once said, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes, for the Jew first and also for the Greek. Listen to me, we live in a world that is ashamed of the gospel, but I believe the worst tragedy of all is that right now even the church is ashamed of the gospel, and yet we say we've got the most amazing message. Here we know about the blood of Christ that can wash away all of our sins and make us clean in God's eyes. Here we know about a gospel that has taken criminals, the worst of society, and turned them into the most godliest saints in history. Here we have a message of people who are stuck in the very belly of addiction and then they find Christ Jesus and their life is changed and they have victory. Here we have a message where the life of God comes and lives inside the soul of man. The most amazing message. And yet you will be hard pressed to find one Christian who will speak up for Jesus today. Oh my dear friends, how often do we cry out, Lord God, send your revival. Lord God, send your spirit down into this land and bring sinners to yourself. But we need to ask ourselves very honestly this question, why would God send his revival to a church that is ashamed of him and his gospel? That's a very good question. Does it not concern you? After all of these podcasts that we listen to, after all the online messages we have, the Christians on social media, all this content that we consume, the mega churches, the conferences, after all of this Bible that is being pumped into our lives every single day, I still believe we have never had a larger generation of Christians who are more afraid to stand up for Jesus Christ when it costs them. Many of us are living in easy streets. And please don't misunderstand me. I'm not talking about getting arrested. I'm not talking about standing up for Christian moral issues, which at times we may need to do. But I'm talking about where are the men and women who will preach the blood of Christ? Where are the men and women who believe in the empty tomb, who talk about repentance, faith, forgiveness of sins, who will preach the gospel even when it makes them look silly? Where are the men and women who believe that Jesus 
Jesus Christ gave us one message, a main message, and will say, I am not ashamed of this message. This is my commission to preach Christ to all that do not know his name. Guys, I feel like the biggest hypocrite saying this because often people will ask me, what do you do for a living? And I tell them with a big smile on my face, I'm a YouTuber. And you see their eyes light up and they say, how many subscribers do you have? And then they say, what kind of videos do you make? And as they ask that question, I feel a little pinch of anxiety. And I tell them, I make Christian videos. And soon they're not as excited after all. And friends, we should not be ashamed that we are Christian. Wow, that's crazy. <sighs> Respect this guy right here. He's doing something amazing and I, I wanted to react to this video because of this, you know? This is awesome that we bear the name of Christ, that we've been adopted into the family of God, sons and daughters of the Most High God. We should rejoice at that. Tozer actually said, millions follow Christ, but very few follow the crucified Christ. And I guess what I'm asking you is, will you do this practically? Will you stand with your local street preacher while he gets ridiculed by the unbelievers around him? Will you be willing to take a pack of gospel tracts and give them out to unbelievers? even though you'll get rejected all day long? Will you be willing to share a Christian video on social media and get all of this negative feedback from your friends and family? Will you be willing to lose your reputation at work by telling people that you're a believer? Will you be willing to lose friends when you say, no, I'm not going to get drunk, no, I'm not going to watch that movie. I'm a Christian now and I need to live a life that honors my God, my Father. It's about time that we stopped living in easy streets because Jesus did say that we need to work while it's day because night is coming when no man can work. And we've just seen it. The people are trying to stop our message and there will come a day when our message is illegal. It's illegal to name the Lord Jesus Christ. You think that this is crazy as I say this? Well, just look at other countries. They name Jesus Christ and they go to jail. Friends, let's make sure we take every opportunity right now because those people in those other countries, they would pay thousands, thousands of pounds, thousands of dollars to get 10 minutes to be in your shoes, 10 minutes to tell someone, a lost person, about Jesus Christ. So will you do that today? Take 10 minutes to tell someone about Jesus. We are blessed with a wonderful life. Okay, you've waited long enough. This is how NASA are trying to silence Christians too. The group is threatening to file a lawsuit against NASA because Johnson Space Center has banned the word Jesus from an employee newsletter. Sophia Smith and a group of other NASA employees are threatening to sue the Johnson Space Center because they claim the Space Center is banning them from using the name Jesus in a company newsletter. It's part of our belief and we're called to use the name of Jesus when we pray. Neymar Jr. is a world-famous footballer who was paid not to speak about Jesus. If you want the full story, click here. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please do consider subscribing. It's been a real privilege what? talking to you about Jesus today. I didn't know they were doing that, especially with footballers. Wow, that is crazy. Personally, I would like to say that everyone have an opinion, but you have to respect other people opinion on models like this because personally you have to think and you have to open your minds on what is really happening in the world the main thing you should ask yourself is where did we come from ask yourself that if you can answer that logically and have a firm understanding of that you would understand that there is a God. It's just something that needs to be talked about. I don't know why that there is a lot of bonding, a lot of corruption going on in the world on this topic. Can you imagine a, a popular book that is being talked about over 2,000 years and it's still, to this day, it is still being talked about? It has to be something that you have to understand you have to realize this is an interesting video 10 if i get 10 likes on this video i will upload the next video so this is stuff and i am out here peace
I will not stop, I want the guap I'ma keep rising until I get high I like the sun, I fall from dawn Cause I've been told y'all niggas I'm the one